here are all the books that I've read in the past year. Add in some eBooks, some audiobooks, and you've got over 50 books that I was able to consume within a one year period. Now, in a time where we have a lot of time at home, a lot of time to read, theoretically, it's not always easy to read. And even though we have the best intentions to read, we want to, we buy books, I buy books compulsively, but until recently, they just sat there. I wanted to read them, but I just couldn't get through these books. I'd have a book or two by my bedside and it would be there for months, painstakingly going through it not making much progress. But then about a year ago, I decided to change that. I wanted to get through all these books that I had collected, that I wanted to read, and all the books that I had on wish lists and things that I wanted to read, I was gonna read them. Or I was gonna try really hard to read as many as I could in a year. But enjoy them, this wasn't a race. My goal was to read at least 52 books in a year. One for every week. So the premise of this video is super simple. I'm gonna share with you some tips that I learned, learned from others on how to read more. That's it. I'm a bit cramped here. I've been at home for the last two months. So let's uh, talk about this outside. So, as a young kid, I read a ton. You know, I think I read starting when I was three, super young, and I just always asked my parents for more and more books. I would read them, I couldn't stop. And that carried on through my high school, college years. But somewhere in the midst of my adult professional life, I stopped reading. It's not that I didn't want to, I still loved books. I would buy tons of books, filling up my shelves, but I just would never get to them. And it frustrated me, but I still didn't do anything about it. So about a year ago, I stumbled upon this video. All right. Okay, it's a book. So this is the book that you're gonna read this year, okay? This is the book that you might not finish because you're gonna die while reading this book here. And I gave myself this goal of, I'm gonna read 52 books at least in this next year, one per week on average. Now over the course of the year, I learned a lot of things from that video, from other video, from reading things about reading more. And I've kind of compiled them into this video to share with you so that you guys can start reading more as well. So one of the things I want to first clear up, uh, I did a video about speed reading and reading faster, more efficiently and remembering it all. Did that back end of last year and a lot of you guys loved that video, but some of you guys gave me a lot of crap for it saying, why do you want to read a book fast? Why don't you just enjoy it? And I thought I made that clear in the video. I want you to be able to read faster, enjoyably and to remember the shit you read. Remember the shit. But just in case I didn't, I'm gonna make this perfectly clear right now. I am not advocating that you should be speed reading or flying through books. Sometimes it's stuff that you want to get through quicker because you have a deadline for whatever reason. Sometimes it's your favorite topic or story and you want to really absorb it, so you take your time. Now, all I was saying in that video is there are some techniques that you can apply to increase your speed just a little bit not so that it's a speed read, but that it's a quicker read, more efficient, and you remember more. Isn't that really the goal, to remember more? All right, enough of that. Let's get to it. All right, so the first tip I have is to prioritize it. Sounds obvious, but with anything that you wanna do, you have to make it a priority for you to make progress in it. If you're just gonna say, yeah, I'll read whenever I will, you might, but you probably won't read as much as you'd like. But if you say, I'm gonna prioritize this, I'm gonna start making lists of books that I wanna read, and I'm gonna make it a priority, not a pastime. 
something that I want to do, you're gonna end up doing it more, more or less. So one of the things that worked for me to get started was I created a list, a wish list, or kind of a want to read list. You can do this in Google Docs, Amazon wish lists, um, or Goodreads. Just something that you can look at and say, okay, that's what I'm reading next, that's what I'm reading next. You can mark things off once you read them and then move on to the next one. All right, the next one is, this was a game changer for me, and the idea is to read everywhere. Everywhere. Whether you're in the shower, in your car, sitting down for lunch, about to go to bed, on the couch, whatever. Try to read everywhere. Reasonably, obviously there's gonna be some situations where it's rude to do that, um, or just impossible, but you get what I mean. There are so many times when we're just looking at our phone, mindlessly scrolling, playing some stupid game, that's when you should be reading. Again, you're watching this video because you want to read. So I'm not saying stop doing the things that you like on your phone and read. No, I'm just saying, if you want to read more, prioritize it and read everywhere. Now what helps obviously is you can't always carry this massive book around. So that's why I had some books that I read in the flesh, but I had a lot of audiobooks that I could listen to when I just had my phone. Or I also had eBooks, which I could also look on my phone as a PDF, um, or through my e-reader when I was climbing a mountain. I always made sure that I had some way to read a book wherever I was. Now this is right where I should put a ad for some kind of audiobook service, but nobody sponsored me. So you're in luck because this is not a sponsored video. All right, so the next tip, and you can watch my old video for this one, is basically read smart. So if you want to read more, then obviously reading efficiently, I mean reading at a moderate pace, you want to have some way of being efficient with your reading. If you watch my old video, it's 10 tips on how to read more efficiently, quicker, and retain it all. So don't read like an idiot, read smart. This tip, I think, was one of the game changers for me. And it goes like this. Stop reading books that suck. If you don't like a book, or you're just not getting through it, because it's not interesting, or it's kind of boring, too wordy, too easy, then stop. I used to think that I had to finish every single book, and that was debilitating to me, because I'd be stuck with this one book that I chose, and I hated it. So, don't be afraid to put a book down, Put it aside, you can always come back to it later, but move on to another book. So kind of in line with the previous tip, this also helped me a lot too. If you're interested in something, or you hear about a book that you wanna read, read it right then. You will read way faster if you're reading something that you are so interested in right now. And interest can wane, right? It can change, it can fluctuate. You might see something new the next week and then you've lost interest for what you wanted to read the previous week. So basically, if you're in the middle of something and suddenly something else piques your interest, go ahead and read that. You're gonna make more progress in that book or in your reading goals if you go for what you want. Which leads me to my next tip. And that tip is, Read multiple books at the same time. I mean, sometimes I'll even have a book that I'm listening to on audiobook, an ebook or two that I'm reading on a device, and then maybe two real books that I'm reading by hand. There are some days where I feel like reading this way, and you know, there's certain things that I'll listen to my audiobooks when I'm working out or when I go for runs. That's my time with those audiobooks. Or even when I'm in the car, you know, as a passenger, I'm reading the book that's on my ebook. Now, the next tip is kind of a little work, but I think it really helps kind of make the process of reading way more enjoyable and feel more permanent. And that is to take notes and to keep track of parts of books or ideas in books that you like or quotes. Now, there's tons of ways to do this. I'm super simple. I just do it in Google Doc. I underline stuff. If it's an audiobook, I can save the clip. If it's an ebook, I highlight it. And there are apps to help kind of 
compile those together. I think Readwise is a good one. You have to pay for that. Um, I just do it manually. And what I'll do is when I'm finished with a book, I'll go to my Google Doc and enter manually things that I earmarked or underlined throughout the book, things I remembered about the book. I like to keep track of that. And I feel like that makes the whole process of having read that book way more memorable and impactful. And it just makes me want to read more. I got one more tip for you and then we're done. So my last tip is this, make a goal out of it. Set a certain amount of books that you'd like to read in a certain amount of time, or even simpler than that. Say, I'm gonna read this amount of minutes or hours per day, and stick to it. Start small, even. If it's five minutes a day, it's five minutes a day. If it's 10 minutes, it's 10 minutes. If it's an hour, great, it's an hour. Stick to that. You know, with anything, as you start doing it day by day, and it's something new, and you're trying to make a habit out of it, it doesn't feel too good. It feels like a challenge. But as you start to remember the rewards of reading, and you hit your goals, there's some really deep satisfaction going on, and it kind of fuels the future of your reading. So those were my tips. I hope they were super helpful. They were helpful to me. And over this past year, I'm just really thankful that I was able to reconnect with reading in that way. And I hope it helps you too. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Please like, subscribe, and share if you like this video. Um, I might even do a follow-up video at some point where I go through all the books that I read this past year, what kind of stuff Nelson reads, if anybody's interested in that, and what I thought about it. I don't know if that's a good idea, actually, some of that stuff, but maybe not too proud to share that I read. But who knows, maybe it's of interest to you, I don't know. Let me know in the description if that's the case. And also, let me know what's one of the best books you've read in the past year. I'd love to, to hear about it. An extra bonus tip here is always ask smart people what they're reading. I love that. Uh, there's nothing more that gets me going when there's someone I find interesting, they tell me what they're reading, and I think, okay, well, if they liked it, I like them, I'm probably gonna like it as well, so let me go read that. And uh, usually I do, and I read it quickly because I wanna get back to that person so I can talk about whatever they were reading. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.